Hello Disney Infinity Trainers! Welcome back to today's episode of my Community Toy Box Halloween Week series where I play Community Toy Boxes to show off to my viewers and to the community and uh, the theme for this current week is Halloween. So every day leading up to Halloween I will be showcasing a new toy box. Today we are playing Ghost Train by XDismatX. So I, again, as always, I will post the link to this toy box in the description in case this is something that you'd like to play for yourself. And it looks really cool right off the bat. Looking around, you know, the decorations are nice and this block art is really well done. You know, I always enjoy when people, when players create block art images in their toy boxes. So anyways, let's just get going already. So <laughs> great use of sound effects and, and visual effects as well. Ooh, I like that. So it kind of zooms out and it looks like this is our destination here. I have never played this toy box. I have no idea what we're looking for or what we're doing here. This is kind of cool though. It looks like a ride at, a, at an amusement park. That's always fun. So we're going this way and right here to the ticket booth. <laughs> Ready? You bet. Awesome. Okay, so I froze for some reason. Um, I'm still freezing. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's supposed to happen. There we go. There we go. All right. Awesome. Uh, yes, I'm ready. Okay. Again, great use of effects. This is this is pretty cool. <laughs> All right, there's a little portal right there. Uh, am I supposed to be able to look around? Maybe not. Okay, I like this. I really love amusement parks, and I like going on rides. And this is, you know, basically a replica of a ride, and this is it's pretty awesome. I like it. All right, can we increase the speed a little bit? <laughs> Pretty scary. I wonder what, what this ride has in store for us. Here are two statues, two spooky statues. Oh, they're moving closer. They're moving in. They're closing in on us. There's a finger. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, look at all that smoke. <laughs> I'm not the best narrator for a ride, although I can try. I will definitely try. The smoke permeates the dark room as eerie organ music and a cat. <laughs> I guess we just accidentally ran over a cat. All right. The green flames spew out of the creature's nostrils. <laughs> that doesn't sound very creepy, does it? All right, I wish that prompt text wouldn't would go away. Um, I know that's not the toy box artist who did that. It's naturally there. Ooh, a, a giant vampire face overlooks. I'm guessing that I am supposed to be keeping these camera angles rather than kind of looking around myself. Um, I think it's, I mean, it's done well, you know. It would be cool to kind of be able to look around you though, like like an actual ride, but this is cool. Like, it's very cinematic. Now now we're at a ghost and, whoa, there we go. Now we're starting to kick into gear. Now, personally for me, I'm someone who has never been a huge fan of roller coasters, to be quite honest with, with all of you. I, I I have started to enjoy roller coasters a lot more now. The first time I went on California Screaming at Disneyland, I was pretty scared of it, but um, I've grown to actually really enjoy it now. I still can't do Tower of Terror though, but <laughs> that's another story. All right, as we enter the dark graveyard, Gelatinous figures rise from the from the damp soil, <laughs> looking to claim victims and the giant hulking figure lunges toward us, and then he kind of goes off camera, and we don't really see what he's doing. Maybe he's just a nice guy. Maybe he's not really 
in it for uh, for the for the food or for the brain. Very very nicely set up here. Okay, the fish with a bubblegum jetpack jumps in front of our way. Oh, there we go, zombie, zombie alert. He crosses the street, the dark intersection, not looking both ways, unafraid of death because he's a zombie fish. Okay, I'm terrible at this. I'm not even, I shouldn't even try. This is pretty uh, embarrassing, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is awesome. I like this so much. The lights go out. You see a flash before you. An illuminated track. Thank you, good soul. Is that it? <laughs> Is that it? I'm, I, I don't want to feel like I'm missing something. Okay. Let's see. Maybe if we walk the course? No, we can't. We actually have to enter, I see. We could go through it again. That was fun. That that was very enjoyable. I really liked it. Is that it, though? I mean, I, I don't mean to sound like I don't appreciate it, because I think it was really awesome, and <laughs> it was really well done, very cinematic. Um, wow, is it supposed to be dark out here? No, that's kind of creepy. Okay. It's a little scary. I like this. This is very Halloween-esque and very theme park-esque. And if you love theme parks and you love Halloween just like me, you're gonna you're gonna definitely love this toy box. And I, I, I recommend it. I definitely recommend it. As far as gameplay, this is not a very obviously it's not skill intensive at all because you just jump in here and you go on a ride. But it's nice to kind of, you know, take a break from uh, playing Disney Infinity, actually playing, doing some platforming, doing some fighting, to just sit back and, and enjoy a really well-made kind of scene-inspired toy box. Um, let's just go through it again while I talk, why not? Um, and we'll see, H however long it takes me to, to kind of finish wrapping up my, my gameplay of the toy box. So, overall, I love it. <laughs> I, I don't want to try to sound like too nice to all these toy boxes because, again, with any creative endeavor, you know, cr constructive criticism is really helpful. Any type of feedback is helpful to the person because it, it shows them what they could do better. Um, if you just say everything's amazing, I love it so much, then that, that's a good praise, but at the same time, it doesn't show them how they can improve. Uh, but either anyway, like, everything about this toy box is really well-crafted. Like, everything. I didn't see anything about it that looked weird or maybe looked kind of like messed up in a way or, or maybe they, they they made a mistake or something no no everything is well done um it's really really intricate like you can see right here uh the two statues moving towards you that's really a really kind of cool detail and that's what this toy box is this toy box is masterfully detailed i mean like yeah you sit in this it takes you about five minutes to go through the whole thing and you don't do anything yourself. However, if you think about how long this must have taken uh, this artist to make this toy box, I can't imagine. Uh, the toy box I made for my Halloween challenge was, like if you if you play through my toy box, it's really short and it took me maybe two or three hours to actually build. And that felt like a long time to me, but this is really just, everything about this is cool. And it must have taken, I don't even want to guess, but it definitely took them a long time and a lot of dedication and really a lot of planning, like beyond just kind of placing this here or this there, placing this type of logic connection and, and that, it, it probably required a good amount of planning, like, okay, well here I want to kind of go up this ramp, I want to put a, a vampire face, and then you're going to go down the hill with a ghost, and you know, that definitely required a lot of work, so um, really, really well done there. If I could make any criticism of this toy box, I don't have too many criticisms, but maybe just adding some other type of gameplay element so that it's not just, you know, a ride. Um, again, th that ride is, is wonderful and it's really cool. This is my favorite, this is one of my favorite parts. I really like kind of um, roller coaster simulators, even though, yeah, because I don't enjoy roller coasters myself, so um, pretending I'm on a roller coaster is a lot of fun. <laughs> 
But yeah, maybe add like a little type of mini mission or some kind of collectible game or something really small that gives you more to do um, rather than just And I hate to sound like that, but I, I do want to offer some type of constructive feedback um, rather than just saying everything about this toy box is great. Maybe even try to make another like miniature ride or, or a bigger kind of theme park area. Although again, I do understand that this probably took a ton of work and uh, I really appreciate that so much. So thank you XDizMatX for the awesome toy box. I, it's so much fun. I'll probably play this, play through this again. Um, and, and it's cool. Well, maybe while I'm doing homework or something, I can play play the toy box and just leave it on my TV because it's really just it's just a ride. You know, it's just like you're just sitting there, you're enjoying the scenery and, and all the details about it and. You know, if there's anything, any toy box so far that I've played that's going to get me in the mood for Halloween, <laughs> this is definitely one of, the, one of the ones to do that. This is an awesome part, too. It's like you're in a spooky graveyard or something. Along those lines. But anyways, uh, I'll go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, thank you for watching. This is a really cool part, too. There's a random zombie face. Oh, I get it. So it's like the zombie kind of jumped out at us. I see. That's pretty cool. That's very, very cool. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, I'll, I'll let the video play through the rest of the time and uh, I'll sign out. So once again, as always, if you would like me to showcase your own toy box, definitely let me know. I, I'd be, I would be happy to showcase anyone's toy box, whether it's a Halloween toy box or just any toy box that you built. Even if it's for one of the previous challenges, really any toy box is, uh, is something I want to showcase. Um, check the link in the description for the playlist of the Halloween challenge and the community toy boxes in general. Like I said, I started this playlist a couple days ago and I will be doing this, I will be doing Halloween toy boxes every day until Halloween and then after that when I do this series, it'll just be any old toy box that I feel like playing that a community member made. So um, I'm really excited for that and I hope you are too. I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you enjoyed this toy box as well. And subscribe for more, you know, tell all your friends. Um, like the video if you enjoyed, and definitely give this toy box a download and a like to show the person who made it that they did a, a really good job. All right, this is me signing out.